Ahead of the 2018 Paris Auto Show, Mercedes-Benz has revealed some more details about the upcoming GLE replacement, and surprisingly, off-road capability improvements have been highlighted. Let's take a few minutes and discuss these changes and what they mean to a first-time buyer or a future owner who wishes to off-road the GLE. First up, it has been reported that the GLE test mules were riding on 275-45 in the front and 315-40s in the rear on 21-inch rims. This comes out to a 30.7 by 10.8 inch wide tire in the front and a 30.9 by 12.4 inch tire in the rear. That alone should tell you that technical off-road capability was never a serious priority for Mercedes-Benz. And if for whatever reason you were looking at a GLE to replace your aging 4Runner, stop here. But if lighter duty off-road work and adventures are in your future, the GLE may have a place in your garage. It should be noted by the photos that the large brake calipers may be small enough to allow 20 or maybe 19 inch rims, but I doubt 18 inch could fit. MB reported that the wheelbase for the 2020 Benz was increased to 117.9 inches. With the tire size and wheelbase information in mind, let's scale the photo and come up with some estimated off-road angles. With the photo scaled, I estimate the approach angle will be around 24 degrees. With the optional air suspension, this can be boosted to 30 degrees thanks to a 3.1 inch lift in off-road height. Departure angle checks in at 29 degrees in standard height and 33 degrees in off-road max height. Where does this put us? The previous generation Benz was based on the same platform as the WK2 Grand Cherokee, as development was done during the time of the Mercedes-Benz Chrysler merger. The WK2 Trailhawk destroys the new GLE with a 36.1 degree approach angle with the air suspension, but is a much lower rear overhang at 27.1 degrees departure. The 114.8 inch wheelbase of the Grand Cherokee will also be nicer on the trail. The other nearest competitor is the Land Rover Discovery 5, which has a 115 inch wheelbase and sports 34 degree approach and 30 degree departure respectively. The press is billing the GLE as a competitor to the BMW X5 and Audi Q7, and by simply having a two speed transfer case, the GLE can leave those cars in the dust and nip at the heels of established platforms like the Jeep and the Land Rover. This should be a welcome shift by all of the off-road enthusiasts who are now seeing manufacturers return to two-speed gearboxes and return off-road capability to platforms which had otherwise become weak and bland. Mercedes is also touting improved electronic wizardry. Not only will the GLE have the ability to bias torque with ABS-based traction control with various off-road profiles, but it also sports the ability to control the air suspension up and down individually. Benz claims this will aid the vehicle if it finds itself stuck in the sand, as the GLE will be able to walk itself out. In conclusion, I feel the GLE could have a spot in the four-wheel drive enthusiast garage as a second vehicle, a comfortable daily driver with some capability to complement a dedicated expedition rig or rock crawler. The front bumper design doesn't look particularly friendly for bumper swaps, so you most likely won't be able to armor it very easily. In stock form, the vehicle should be able to complete the bulk of the Colorado area trails and some of the easier Moab trails. It would also be a great choice for someone who wants some forest road backwoods off-road capability without sacrificing daily driving and comfort. All in all, I'm happy that manufacturers are starting to notice the four-wheel drive overland enthusiasts and are slowly bringing back basic SUV features such as the two-speed transfer case back to their vehicle lineups. Thanks for watching and please show your support by subscribing to our channel and commenting on your thoughts on the GLE below.